why do you like writing for children? Well, I think the reason I like writing for children is because I always have written for children. When I, when I was a, a child in second grade, I was diagnosed with what they call ADHD, mm -hmm. and my teacher was always sending me out into the hallway, and I was always separated from the children in my class, and so I wanted to have a connection with them. So I would write stories, and I would make comics, uh, so that when they saw me, I would have a connection. And, and and I think I've always done that. I've always been trying to connect with, with kids my own age and, and, and also with kids, you know, who I, uh, who I started out with. Uh, they, they, were, they were my original critics. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, would, they would look at my stories and they would, they would be very, very honest with me. They would tell me if they thought they were funny or not. And, and so kids are just great. They're very, their honesty really inspires me. Okay. Um, could you tell me a little about your writing process? Yes. Uh, I, it usually starts out with daydreaming. I do, oh, okay. I do a lot of that. I, I walk around in nature or I, I do a lot of kayaking. Anytime I can get outside it is, is good for me. And I do a lot of thinking and go back to my studio and I write down my ideas and a lot of sketching. And then the final process is really the artwork. Um, I, I have a blue pencil that I do my, my sketches in and then I, I use India ink and, a, and a, a brush and a pen and that's how I kind of do my final art. Okay, so nature is your main source of inspiration? Nature is, is it? A, yes, it, it, it is my muse, yeah. Okay, so is there a particular theme that you like to write about, like animals or birds or anything like that? Is there a particular theme? Uh, yeah, I, I tend to write about about the theme of friendship and love. I, I think that's, that's kind of one of the, the, the two things that are most important to me. Um, and, you know, within those themes are sub-themes like, like um, kindness and uh, forgiveness. I'm writing a book about for forgiveness right now. Mm -hmm. and, um, but they all kind of go back to friendship and love. That they, they all come, that's sort of the, the main theme that I'm writing about. And, um, yeah, I like to write about animals. And, and the, because I feel a, a, a great deal, of, I, I feel a great connection with animals. I don't know why, but but I think a lot of kids do as well. And if I ask you to describe your writing style in three words, then what would that be? My writing style in three yeah. words. Um, let's see. I try to. Okay, how about? Very, very concise. I don't know. I, I try to be as as concise as possible. I, I try not to. Uh, I try not to be too wordy. Okay. Because I think I think kids um, a lot of times they get overwhelmed or, or they mm -hmm. if, you, if you put too many words in, in something there there will be some kids who, who will quit. Yeah. Who right. won't won't continue with right. the story. And I want kids to have a, a feeling of uh, set a feeling of like they've accomplished something mm -hmm. they keep mm -hmm. turning those pages and before they know they finish an actual book and because that will continue that will make them continue on to other books so uh, this is a little personal question but uh, if you ever um, have you ever thought of writing about your journey with dyslexia uh you know i i, I have written a little bit of uh, like strictly autobiographical stuff okay um, and that probably will be coming out maybe in 10 years okay. I don't know <laughs> Charisse has read some of it but uh, but I that's what happens usually with my writing because back when Captain Underpants was coming out I was writing Dogman um, there was a there was a time in my life where I had to take some time off because my father was very sick and so while I was driving my parents to or from the hospital or sitting in waiting rooms and things I was writing the Dogman stories, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until seven or eight years later that the books began to come out. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the stories—it seems like they're coming out qu quickly—but a lot of the stories have been brewing f and for uh, seven to ten years. So, the backstory behind Captain Underpants—it's quite interesting. Can you tell me a little about it? Why did you write Captain Underpants? Why did I write Captain yeah. Underpants? Uh, I started writing it ac actually because. Uh, I had a teacher in second grade who, who said the word underwear and everyone in my class laughed. Mm -hmm. And so I was always trying to make my class laugh. And so I thought, wow, I, I should 
make a, a, a story about a character whose feet was underwear. So I was always writing uh, little superhero type mm -hmm. stories about him, and it wasn't until I became an adult and wanted to turn it into a children's book that I got the idea of, of adding George and Harold to mm -hmm. the stories. And, and really the stories took on a new life of their own. They're really not superhero stories. They're really stories about two boys who are friends and, and who use their creativity and their own imagination to, uh, to basically get through life. <laughs> and Do you think we need superheroes to have a better world today? You know, I think superheroes are a lovely distraction. That's, that's fun, but I, I, I don't think they're quite relatable okay. to, to kids mm -hmm. because we, we can't. We can't fly. We yeah. can't. We can't <laughs> punch a train and make it stop. Yeah. But we can all use our imagination. And we can all use our creativity. We can all be kind. We can all uh, be good friends. And and these are superpowers that we do have. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the, the reasons why the, the heroes of Captain Underpants are two little ten year old mm -hmm. boys mm -hmm. who don't have superpowers. Mm -hmm. And then also with Dogman too. Dogman does not have superpowers, mm -hmm. but he has those things. He has his imagination. He super has his qualities. creativity. Yes, things yeah. that yeah. super qualities yeah. that we all have, right. that I think are relatable. So I know you are also a cartoonist. Yes. Do you think pictures help tell a story better? I I personally definitely do uh, because I'm a visual learner, mm -hmm. and and um, so for me, uh, when I when I'm creating stories. I like to let the pictures tell part of the story and the words tell part of the story because I know a lot of kids learn that way as well. And and I think even kids who learn in a more traditional way still like the graphic novel format as well because uh, it's, it's, it's fun to see different things happening yeah, all at the right. same time. Right. And it's I think it's, it's nice to see artwork and words combined mm -hmm. too. I mean, there's some people who say, "Oh, that's not; those aren't real books because there's artwork in it." But you know, what's wrong with artwork? We go to art galleries and we look at paintings on the wall, and then we're inspired by that. So why can't we have them in our books too? Right. So um, I know you've created a lot of characters, but uh, do you yeah, have? Oh, you have? No, you oh, have. Oh, okay, okay. So do you have a, a favorite character that that's created by you? Yes, I do. Uh, in the Dogman series. In, uh, in book, the third book, there was a little kitten who came along kind of by accident, <laughs> and he's he's taken over the series. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very very young, very inquisitive, but uh, he's just filled with hope and love and and uh, such a positive energy. And he's been a real influence on his his papa's life. His mm -hmm. his papa. Uh, Actually, technically, he's a clone. Oh, okay. but yeah, but uh, his papa was used to be the bad guy in okay. the series. But his papa has sort of uh, really fallen for this little kitten, okay. and his papa is has been transformed by his love for mm -hmm. this little kitten. And his papa, who was the bad guy, is trying to be a better a better cat. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Where did you so, uh, get an inspiration for such a character? Well, I got it from my own childhood because I was always getting in trouble. I, was, I always felt like I was the bad guy. Okay. I always felt like uh, I didn't fit in. I was a misfit. I was lonely. And, and so, but I had, you know, I had parents who, who loved me and believed in me. And, and I had a mom especially who, who uh, was always on my side and so positive. And so I kind of reversed the role. So the, the parent became the child, the mm -hmm. child became the parent in my story. But it's the same type of relationship. Loving and uh, very supportive, and so that little kitten is kind of based on my mom. That's lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, um, for instance, if I want to start writing, uh, do I think of the plot first, or do I build character first, or think of the climax? What oh. do you think is what do you think the first step to start writing should be? I don't know how I can answer that for anyone else. I, I because I uh, I'm not an expert at that okay. at all. I, I just know what I do and and uh, for me it is uh, I think it really starts with the characters. It, okay. uh, I I create these characters and I don't even know where they come from, but sometimes they come from my childhood or something I wrote about as a kid. But uh, the act of daydreaming and thinking about these characters, they start taking on a life of their own inside my head, mm -hmm. and a lot of times. They, they write the stories. They're they're doing something in my head. It's like a play happening in my head, and and, and so the stories, for me, most of the stories come from that. 
from the characters. Okay. And you like to read? I do, yes. You do? Yeah. Tell me about your favorite book or the book that you would like to keep with you forever. Oh, uh, I think my, fa my favorite book, and I used to have a copy of it that I kept in my back pocket all the time, I was always looking at it, is uh, Walden by, uh, by Thoreau. I, I, okay. I, I love that book and, and, uh, and I think I love it so much because it, it does what any great book should do, it transforms you, it takes you, takes you to a, a different place. Uh, and it always lifted my soul in a way. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but, but even, even if I was just standing in the grocery store, you know, at the, at the till, you know, waiting on, online, I would just pull it out of my pocket and open it up anywhere, you know, A anywhere. random page. Yes, any yeah. random place. And, and uh, you know, like Thoreau just had uh, just such a, not a, not just a way with words, but a way of communicating uh, passion and, and how we can become better, you know, how we can, uh, how our souls can, he, he just uplifted my soul. <laughs> and I'd just be sitting there, you know, waiting to check out and buy my, by, by my Cheerios, but I, you know, I, well, my soul was being uplifted by uplifted by this. Uh, this I think work. books just transform you. Yes, yeah. they just transfer you to a different. They place. do. That, yeah, that's yeah. the best part about yeah. books. Yeah, what is it? What is, I'm curious. What's your favorite book? My favorite book. So it's called uh, Tuesdays with Maury. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah, I just love that. It's book. a beautiful. Book. I can yeah. read it time and again, oh, and yeah. I'm never bored. Of it. Yes, I just yeah. love it. And that just is... like your favorite book, I carry it with me all the time, uh -huh. oh, and right. I just start yeah. reading it randomly yeah. anywhere. And I think that book helps me to feel better when I'm going through a rough patch. Yes, so that's the best that's, part about books. That's what it's, they're always there. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. so the right. best books do. That, yeah. So what do you think? Yeah. Um, Okay. okay, so just oh, okay. one <laughs> last question. Uh -huh. So, what do you think, um, uh, you know, aspiring writers should do? What what can make them a good writer? What they should focus on? Oh, um, I don't know. I always tell because kids ask me this mm -hmm. too. I I think my answer is usually just practice. Uh, write write every day and. Even if you have writer's block, write anyways. And okay. even if you're writing something and it's not good, keep writing it. Mm -hmm. and, and even if you make a horrible mistake and you and you, you've never wasted your time when you when you are creating your art. Mm -hmm. Or you know, I'll do a terrible drawing that I have to throw away. You know, and I've spent hours on it. Yeah, I didn't waste that time because I learned from it. You know, okay. and, and you always learn from your mistakes. And so, continue, persevere, keep writing, keep keep drawing, keep dancing, keep whatever your, your art is, keep making art.